Using tech to water your lawn without the need for messy installation. That's our text to nation with us from Otto, O-T-O, is founder and CEO, Ali Sabti. Hi, Ali. Hi, Fred. Thanks for having me. Well, great to see you again. We spoke to you about uh, a year or so ago, and you've continued to evolve here. Let's give everyone an update uh, about what it is that you do. Yeah, well, uh, thanks for having me back. And uh, it's been a little bit over a year since we last spoke. Um, we've uh, since then, we've uh, you know, sold and served thousands of customers across the U.S. to bring everyone up to speed. Auto is a smart outdoor device uh, that's supposed to handle the, the issues around irrigation and applying solutions for your yard. So it pretty much provides a very convenient and simple uh device or solution for consumers looking to to irrigate and apply solutions to different areas uh, of their yard. So it's a simple to install a device, only requires a hose and a Wi-Fi connection. Users can define different areas of their yard through the smartphone app. And then really from there, it's a set it and forget it device. It's connected to Wi-Fi. So it's going to be looking at the weather, rain, wind, all of those different weather parameters and making judgments as to how much water to put down and when to put it down. So step us through the way this is installed uh, for people. Yeah, perfect. So the the device is um, a little bit larger than than a shoe box, and we designed it so that it's it's really simple to install by consumers themselves. So it's a DIY product. So the way that that the device works uh, is you connect a water hose to it, just a standard garden hose. And then from there, auto shoots a single stream of water that goes to 30 or 40 feet, depending on what your uh, what your source pressure is. And that stream um, is able to go from right into right up to the device to that 30 or 40 foot range, and then rotates 360 degrees. So thinking of think about it as almost like a printer for water within your yard. From there, users jump into their phone and they define different zones. So it's a point for trees or they can create lines for rows of, of shrubs or bushes, or they can create a polygon and then auto will go in and, and fill that different area in. So that's on the irrigation side. In addition to that, auto can also apply people, planet and pet safe solutions right through that water stream. So there's uh, three solution bays that uh, users can uh, purchase one of our solutions. We have fertilizer, mosquito and tick repellent, and uh, an enzymic odor eliminator that cleans up and deodorizes after dogs. So any of those solutions user can take, scan a QR code that's right on that bottle, load it into the device that's gonna let the device know what that solution is. Then auto goes to work optimizing how much to put down, when to put it down uh, from there. That's interesting, but that is an optional thing, right? To, to be able Absolutely. To, to, need, to use Absolutely. Those. So there's there's no subscriptions on the device. There's no monthly monthly fees if you're if you're looking just to use that irrigation side of it. But for consumers that are looking for the uh, for the convenience and not having to worry about figuring out uh, not only what solutions to put down and going through that learning curve, but also having to go out there on a consistent basis and and apply it. And 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 just a, a point to add to that, the solutions that we use, the natural solutions that we use, are uh, proven to work with great efficacy, almost to, to those of synthetics, if they're applied in small amounts more frequently. So that really is one of the disadvantages with natural solutions and why we haven't seen a lot of proliferation across all lawn care providers is the need to apply that solution more frequently. So with the you know increased fuel costs and inf increased labor costs, traditional lawn care companies are struggling to do that. Now with the auto device, it's as simple as loading that solution in, and it's going to microdose in a way uh, in the water stream and, and feed those plants and, and ensure that you're getting so healthy soil and, and healthy plants and, and reducing the runoff, which has detrimental effects to the environment. Now, is this primarily for lawns or can people be using some things for like vegetable gardens? So we we optimized it for for lawns and shrubs just because of the 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 distance we're trying to get you know thirty feet and and the impact of that water stream. But we're seeing customers use it for for all sorts of different applications. Uh, you bring up uh, garden beds. So garden beds is a is a popular use case um, now because with seedlings you want to hit those you don't want to hit those right with the water stream because they are very delicate. 
what customers are doing is, is using this concept of furrow irrigation, where they'll dig almost a, a, a channel through different rows of vegetables and place the water right in that channel. And that gets right into the, right into the roots. And it's a very efficient way to irrigate and also protects the, uh, the plants from being impacted with that water stream. And you can really pinpoint to that extent. Absolutely. Yeah. So you could, you know, in that, in that case, if you had a, a row of vegetables or, or whatever it is, tomato plants, um, then you would set, you know, two points and, and it would trace that line um, wherever, wherever it may be in your yard. Terrific. So among the advantages, I suppose, is uh, if you were going to put in a, a more traditional irrigation system, it's very expensive and your property has to be uh, disrupted, I guess, in one would be one way to put it. Right. So there's no there's no trenching. So that's a that's a big one. There's 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 no trenching in uh, some areas. You know, that's problematic because you have rocks or you have existing vegetation. Um, the other sort of advantage for, for auto and, and other than, than cost is the single point of failure. So one of the issues with traditional lawn care, in-ground lawn care systems is it's very hard to pinpoint if they're failing or where they're failing. So if you have a leak in one of the connections underground or one of your heads, um, that's very, very difficult for you to pinpoint and then get out and, and fix. Another advantage we're seeing um, customers, uh, you know, choose auto over a traditional in-ground is because of winterization. So when you have to winterize an in-ground sprinkler system, you have to get it, you know, blown out with, with through a professional and and get it capped. Uh, with auto, it's as simple as turning the water off, taking the device inside your garage, and then just storing it there for the winter season until you're ready to use it um, for the next uh, spring. Really simple. What about saving on on water itself? Yeah, so for for water savings, it's really achieved a couple different ways, and and uh, we 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 we've done some preliminary calculations, and we can show that we're saving about fifty percent versus a, a traditional way to irrigate. And the way we do that is the first is through the precision. So by being able to not only pinpoint um, where your zones are, but change them over time, you're avoiding things like watering sidewalks and and watering non-permeable surfaces that, that you don't want to get wet. So there's savings in being able to exactly pinpoint where the water goes and then change that as your yard uh, evolves. In addition to that, our device is connected to Wi-Fi. So it's aware of the weather and the soil moisture and, and the evapotranspiration that, that happens within each of your zones. So it's going to factor those in uh, rain, wind, humidity to put down the right amount of water so that it, it effectively factors in that precipitation that's coming in through rain and not put that water down. So what kind of area is this designed to cover? So the at 30 feet and the 360 degrees will do around 2,800, 3,000 square feet per device. Um, most our customers purchase two devices. You could imagine one in the front, one in the in the back, um, to cover to cover their yard. And uh, the the app would be able to control them both. I assume. Absolutely. Or... Yeah. Is absolutely. There... So you could have you could have multiple devices on on the app. Just terrific. So tell us more about how people can order one and get more info. Yeah, the best place uh, is either through any of our social media or on our website, autolawn.com, so O-T-O-L-A-W-N.com, or through uh, Facebook or Instagram, same handle, autolawn, uh, at autolawn for, for those social media channels. And are there some new features, uh, new things that you are planning to bring to this or have brought to it? We're We've we've um, we've continuously innovated on the product. One of the one of the really nice things about the the auto devices, we're able to send over the air updates, OTA updates to the device. So one of those um, we we did recently, we brought in the minimum distance. Uh, you know, the minimum distance when we spoke a year ago was about a foot and some change from the device. Now that's been reduced right up to the device, so you can water all that area around it. Um, you know, things like Smart home integration is on our roadmap. So the ability to control that and bring it into your smart home ecosystem. We have a lot of different use cases, including deterring larger pests. So think things like deer, if you're able to pick those up with your with your home's uh, um, smart camera, then you could potentially trigger auto to spray a little bit of water in that area and, and, and scare them off. So that's an interesting use case. 
Um, of course, we're looking at things like usage metrics and, and advanced uh, weather intelligence that's going to really enable consumers to, to tell auto what type of soil, what type of vegetation, how much sun exposure that particular plant gets. And then there's that one more, one further degree of automation where auto is then going to dial in the soil moisture based on those parameters that you put in. Just terrific. And when it comes to the add-ons, uh, feeding the lawn, et cetera, or uh, taking care of weeds, um, how often would people need to reorder? So it's about, um, the last about each bottle will last around two months. So that's about, for most people's seasons, that's around three solution bottles. And, and we sell those on a, on a plan. So they're shipped to you as, as soon as uh, one depletes. Terrific. So for more info, again, it's autolawn.com. Ali Sabti, thank you for spending time with us. Thanks for having me, Fred. Always a pleasure.